So hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozzola from Curval.com and I have a really good video for you today. I'm going to show you how to use images in Power BI that are stored locally on your computer. As you probably know or noticed when you try to import images into Power BI, they have to be online. So Power BI is not able to get images from your hard drive until now because I'm going to show you a trick that will show you, allow you to do exactly that. So without any more delay, let's just jump on it. It's like a super cool trick. So first of all, this is a trick that I learned from SQL Jason. He's a Microsoft employee and um, he shared this with us in the beginning of the year. I've been wanting to do this video forever, uh, but other things got in the way. Um, he is actually showing us that the actual the, the way for us to be able to use local images is to convert them to base64. You don't even need to know what that is. There are actually websites where you can drag and drop images and then they will convert that to to this um, binary code so you can import it into Power BI. So he goes through the steps, uh, he uh, suggests a site, he says that you have to have a prefix um, and he used DAX to be able to switch images, it's like a super cool Power BI file. So I really recommend you to go through and read this. Um, and I was ready to show you this until I read the end of the post where it says Gerhard has already taken this a step further and talk about automating the process by doing everything in Power BI. And of course, I'm going to show you that, right? <laughs> so here we have Gerhard's um, blog post. And uh, he is showing us how to do this and he's actually using functions. You have at the end of the blog post a Power BI file that you can actually download. So I'm going to link both to Jason's um, blog post but also to Gerhard so you can just come here download it and start using it but um, I'm going to show you how to do this basically so uh, you can do it right away so when you download his file you will see three functions and then you will see three tables I've removed one of them because that's the one I'm going to use for the example but you have a function for how to um, import uh, an image from an online source. You have uh, how to do it from a local source and then how to do it from SQL. So like really cool. From the URL, you have it here. We're going to do it from a local source. Uh, this is one of the most requested features. So what you would do, you go to new source, you go to more, go to folder, and you point to the place where you have the images. I just download a few images and I have them on my download folder. You could choose any folder that you have your images on. Because it's a download folder, I have all kinds of stuff. So let's edit this. And we just want the JPEG images. So now we have here the JPEG images and what we need to do is to actually um, convert this, invoke the function to convert these to base64. That's what this little function does. And um, yeah, once you've done that, then uh, you will get the image online. Let's, let's do it. So to use that function, you would go to add column, invoke custom function. And now we have more than one function. We want to use binary to Power BI image. And uh, this selects the right column, the content, click OK. And there we get the binary 64 um, column that we need. So here you have actually the image in binary code. So we close and apply. And this of course broke because I have to do, I think this is the downloads. You have to change these 
to a image source, image URL, sorry. Okay. And once you've done that, you get the pictures. And these pictures are not online, they are on your Power BI file. And you can do this with URL you can see with online sources, images, or images from SQL. So you are good to go now. You know how to import images from your local folder into Power BI or any of the sources that you can see. So this is fantastic. So if you want to download his Power BI file, remember you have to go to his website and the link is in the description below. Okay. Excellent. Okay. So another trick, another day, another Power BI day. Isn't that cool that somebody came with ideas, somebody built on it and everything has been published and shared with us. I think it's amazing. They've done an amazing job with this. Thank you very much for sharing anyhow. So if you also like the trick, just let me know by liking it, uh, share it with people that would like to know. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. I publish Power BI videos three times a week. So have a great day and see you soon. Bye.